<laughs> I like watching the thing and watching it all come up. It's really nice. Hey, look, it says live now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so, I guess this is welcome, everybody. Welcome to uh, today is ooh August the eighth, two thousand thirteen. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? We're uh, we're here with uh, Streak, Creek, Naonia, and uh, myself, Mr. Puddles McNacho Pants. Today we're talking about the Wild Star Wednesday that came out yesterday about the state of the beta. Um, I'm sure everybody's got a chance to read that. Uh, probably some pretty interesting stuff. So um, let's just jump right into it, guys. Um, so, uh, Streak, b- before I start actually going through this, um, we we kind of said before, hey, we hadn't gotten any information for a while, and now we got some information. What do you think? I, uh, bittersweet. Bittersweet. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where we've been waiting for this game for a long time. It seemed like release was a long ways out there, and, and now it sounds like things are going to get pushed back a little bit more. Um, but it's good. It's good. For what they're doing, they're doing the right thing. I, I read through, saw their changes. I absolutely love every one of them. And um, I think it's going to be good in the long run. I think they're doing it right. So, um, yeah, you know, it is bittersweet. I, th- I think uh, with all the podcasts that we've done together, I think we all got really, really excited about this game. We still are. You know, that's one thing, uh, just so everybody knows, It's this isn't one of those podcasts where people are just going to sit here and down it. It's uh, definitely, it's a positive thing. It's uh, it's always good to hear that somebody is going to take the opportunity to make some changes. Uh, Creed, uh, you agree with that? I sure do. Uh, how many times have we gone into a game in the past that was rushed out, and we knew it was getting rushed out? You know, you just read all this stuff about, you know, it, and they were probably trying to, rush out before another game was trying to get rushed out. Rush, rush, rush. And what happened? The game was broken in, in certain ways or the other. Everything's wrong. They would have to take the server down, put a hot fix, and then another hot fix. And so, hopefully what they're doing right now is going to just eliminate all that. So, I'm excited. I'm bummed out that it's not going to happen when we want it to happen, but... If it takes two, three, four months to get it right, I say go for it. That's that's perfect for me. Good, good to hear. So our resident Orin in the uh, in the cast here, what's your take on it? Well, um, when I first read it, I kind of wanted to curl up in the fetal position and not get out of my bed. Um, it was quite depressing, honestly. I have been so excited and just thinking, oh my goodness, by Christmas I can play Wildstar. But, however, with that being said, um, I love that they're taking into consideration all the feedback that they've gotten, that they know they need to make some changes, that they're moving forward to make the game even better. So, I really can't complain about that, but I'm I'm still kind of wanting to curl up in the fetal position because <laughs> I really want to play this game, and now I have to wait even longer. But that's okay, because it'll be worth now, it. As, as a reminder, or, or kind of a a reality check. Just don't forget that that while they are doing these changes, they will be working on, I'm sure, other bugs and problems and, and fixes to the game. So it's not like they're going to halt everything and, right. and just work on this new content. They will probably, I'm assuming, still be plugging away at all the other stuff they want to fix. So let's hope that it's not quite as bad as it sounds right now. <laughs> Cheer yeah. up, little bunny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure you're right. I, you know, it, 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 when you read something like this, and if you read it as many times as I did, which is probably upwards of 30 times now, every time you you, you start looking at it, and you want you want to really analyze it because you're saying exactly what are they saying, you know? So I decided that we were going to take tonight's uh, Wild Star Thursday, but and, and really analyze their Wild Star Wednesday. So. Let's start off with the, kind of the simplest thing to talk about. Um, no player choice involved in character progression. Um, I, I think I've seen that probably about thirty times on different websites, you know, and social media. Oh, it's it's you know it's so bland, blah blah blah. You, you've you've heard it. Oh, it's Guild War, uh, Guild Wars ish, you know. Uh, so I, I 
understand that they're you know they need to take the time to, to maybe make make that change. Um, you know, I, I know that there's a lot of confusion, concern about only having a couple skills. Um, so. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like that. I like the fact that they just came right out and said, hey, look, we know that this is exactly what you're talking about. We know it's an issue, and we're going to work on it. So, Creed, what do you think? Uh, you think it's good to be able to take that type of user community feedback and say, let's go address it? Um, I'm so glad that they are, are listening to the to the majority of the, of the testing going on. Uh, you know, we, we need something a little different. Uh, and it seems like they're they're doing that. They're, they're they're making good changes. Yeah. So you know, with changes like this, you know, it it, it brings upon a kind of negative connotation where people will say, well, eh, you know, if they're making changes, maybe they'll make changes for the good or for the bad. You know, change is a change, right? That means retesting and stuff. Streak, do you think that this puts us back at square one, or you 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 think that you know it could just be something easy that they could do? Um. For for this piece of the puzzle that they're working on, it, it is actually um, a much more minor change than than the second part that I'm sure we'll talk about in a, in, in a little bit here. Um, it, from what it sounds like, um, the, the plan that they had was basically, you know, they've got some passive abilities that they were going to give people. Um, the first iteration kind of said, you know, as... As you reach a certain stat level, um, you know you, you always have stats, dexterity, agility, strength, or whatever version of that that Wildstar has. But you have those stats, and as you reach a certain stat level, they were going to say, "Okay, you've unlocked these abilities, and now you have these new passive abilities." Um, then they said they had a second iteration that said, "You know, okay, well, we're not going to have it slotted like that. We're just going to automatically give them to you." But it was still based on, you know, when you hit those certain stat levels. Um, so, of course, they're they're looking at it, and, and the people want more choices and more options. So they're they're revamping that, which they, they haven't said how they're going to do that or what direction they're going to give. But it sounds like they may possibly be going back to you know, as you level up and hit certain levels, certain milestones and levels, ten, twenty, thirty, whatever, and, and give you a little bit more options. Uh, but. I, by the way they've made it sound anyways by reading their their wild star wednesday it it did not sound like this was really the the big overhaul piece of the puzzle it was definitely the the second part that was was a much bigger po- piece of the pie so i love it i like where they're going with it i love the fact that they're listening to their player base and they're not afraid to say we're going to change it um yeah i don't think it'll uh, be that bad though yeah, that's that's you know I, I keep coming back to, they could have told me that they were totally going to scrap the game. I mean, literally. But if they said because it's what that. people were people, yeah. But if it was what they you know if there was an astounding group you know people saying that you really need to do this and it was fa- you know it was re- it was legit you know I, I think that's a good thing. So you know Naomi and I have talked about this extensively today. So you know. <laughs> What, what, what do you think? I mean, I, I know we've kind of talked about this before. We had a really good conversation about it. But just in general, you know, everybody likes to feel like they have a say in how their tune progresses. Absolutely. What, what's, your, what's your idea? I think um, player progression is definitely important. I think uh, I know they said that they have already have plans to fix this. It's done. It's coded. It's whatever. They just need to implement it, test it, put it in the game, reopen beta. But... I foresee maybe something along the lines of a a talent tree, per se. Maybe we'll get five levels and we'll say, you know, uh, all right, maybe you can take this spell, that spell, or this spell, or you can, you know, increase this spell, increase that spell, or this spell, and we'll have more, more choice, which personally, I prefer that. Because then, you know, at max level, when you get into your end game content, you know, the fun part about characters too is kind of digging in and seeing what spec works best and what spell gives you the most DPS and what heal is the best and you know you get your theory crafters and your people with their spreadsheets and it actually makes for a really really interesting um, 
Well, I got a feeling that they're they're pretty much going across those lines anyways. Yeah. I, I get the impression that this change is is more uh, passive abilities and less actual skills and abilities. So yeah. it might be you have a stealth or a or you run faster. I don't know, um, but they're more passive abilities. I, I think the the mechanics of choosing from fifty million skills onto your little five, six, seven, eight hot bar button. I, I think that's already in. Place, right. so right. it won't be that big of a change. We're only talking about passive Passive. Here. So really, it shouldn't be that huge of a deal for them to implement a choice with a passive ability. That's really... I don't think that's a huge game changer right there for me, honestly. Um, and it won't take them much to put that into play. I agree. So, so yeah, that, that's a good point, and, and I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, so, yes, that's that's totally cool. And you know, for you know, going through the wild, the state of the beta, that was like just like the first paragraph. So let's let's talk about the real meat, shall we? The the so so you say the uh, the shared quest credit. That is a hot topic, has been a hot topic in many, many MMOs. I can't tell you how many times I've heard, oh, I tagged it. And, of course, you're sitting there like a dummy. You know, you're sitting there killing it, and you're like, I didn't get any credit. So, you know, some, some MMOs have come around and was like, yeah, we, let's change that a little bit. So uh, Wildstar has their own take on that. Um, so what's the change? It's uh, two major shifts that they're going to do. The uh, the first one's going to be uh, for questing. Questing's going to be uh, kind of a, instead of you going out and killing 14 bunnies, you have to kill enough bunnies to get to Yay! this. <laughs> run, Neil, Neil, run! I love it. No, nope. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. So, you know, uh, you have Elmer Fudd out there um, shooting himself some wabbits. And, um, no, no. you know, Why do we have to use rabbits. Why can't we talk like rodents? Like, I always have to talk. <laughs> I'm, not I'm doing this for Creed. References. I'm doing it. I'm doing it for Creed because, because, you know, I got brother love for Creed. Mm. So, the, uh, so, but it, it can be anything. But it, it's interesting because they go out and say, for some players, you know, they'll do a quest for doing the lower end mobs, right? The smaller ones. And it may take them, I'm throwing numbers out, it may take them 100 to fulfill the quest. Right. You got a group out there, you know, and you got a guild as great as Grievance is, you know, where we're going to be questing together, partying together, you know. We decide we're going to take on the king of the rodents. And, and, you know, it may only take two of those to kill. Right. Um, it, it, it definitely puts a different spin on how you quest and how how you socialize with other people. Um, you know, I don't think a single person's going to be able to take down the king of the rodents, so to speak. Uh, so it basically says, hey, look, you know, this is your opportunity. It's a MMO. You know, funny thing about MMO, it stands for, you know, multiplayer. Massive. Yeah, that's that's crazy. So that means you actually get to do stuff with other people. Could you imagine... You, you, I, you can I, actually I, group up with people. Damn, you can't people believe you like. Holy cow! You like. People you like. That's right? that's def- that's definitely interesting. That's crazy. So uh, so um, you know that's that's a good point, Streak. Um, what do you think? I mean, is, is this just some now left field, or is this something that should have been there the whole time? Should have been there the whole time. This is awesome. I love the direction they're going with this thing. I mean, there's too many times you play these these MMOs, and of course they've gotten to the point where they they're pretty much solo games with other people playing solo games running around. I mean, right. they've lost the whole grouping concept. And then you see, you know, a whole bunch of people, you know, killing this, that, or the other thing, and, and, and then some straight person run behind them and pling, two points of damage, pling, two points of damage, pling, two points of damage, and then the real people kill the mobs and they get all the credit for it. And it's, you know, they're just leeching off of everybody else. And, I, you know, it, I don't like that. I don't like that. The direction they're going that says, look, we're going to find that magical number out there and say you have to do so much damage to this this particular mob if you want quest credit. And let's face it, today's MMOs, you don't really get a lot of experience for mobs. Most of your experience is from quests. Mm-hmm. So you don't want people going out there and just plowing through your quests because they're tagging everybody else's mobs. Um, this is perfect. I love this. Um you know, and it's not going to change the mechanics if you're in a group and you happen to be, a, you know, a, a healer or something, and and you're not doing damage. It's it's based off of the group. So when the group hits that 
magical number and gets credit for that kill, it doesn't matter if you did any damage inside of a mob, inside of a group, right. you'll still get credit for it, which is fantastic. Absolutely. I absolutely love this. Mm -hmm. And if I could add anything else, if if any devs ever see this thing, I would love to see um, an uh, an added incentive to see people group. You know, say a, a mob is worth 100 experience points, and if you kill it solo, you get 100 experience points. If you kill it with a group of five people, you divide that up to 20 or whatever, and basically how it works. But I'd like to see, a, there was another game out there that tried this one time that said, if you get a group of two, maybe you get a 5% experience bonus. If you have a group of three, you get 15. If you get a full group, you get, you know, 20 or, or whatever the numbers are. But something that gives you just that little extra something that just says, you know bit. what, I want a group because I want that extra experience percentage, and maybe it will give an incentive for more people to group because today's MMOs that are coming out... Uh, it seems more efficient to solo than group, and that's why nobody groups anymore. And you know, nobody groups as well because they're so easy. I yes. want difficult mobs. I want difficult quests. I want to try to do something solo and get so frustrated that I have to get somebody to help me because yes. it's a multiplayer game. It is not massive single player game. This, you know, <laughs> like we should have to group up. We should have to go through a game with each other, support each other, you know, pop in team speak, communicate with each other and feel a sense of accomplishment um, that you're helping each other. You know, like exactly. I don't, I, I really don't like to solo in games and I think that's where I'm lacking right now. I think that's why I can't focus on one game. I'm trying really hard right now. I am. I'm trying to focus on one. I'm trying to pull a raid group together. But I've found myself the past few months jumping from one to the next to the next. And as soon as I end up by myself, five minutes, I'm, I'm logging out because I don't want to play an MMO by myself. That is not why I play an MMO. So um, also I've had experiences in other games where you don't get um, credit when two people who aren't grouped kill something. I've noticed, say you run across a rare spawn a harder mob that might have better loot. And you could be standing there like struggling to kill this thing and then there's some guy standing behind you just praying that you die so <laughs> so he could like take your mob and get the loot. Like I don't want that in my MMO either. I want the guy behind me to say, "Holy crap, I'm going to help her kill this and I'm going to get some loot and experience too." Like that's that's the way I feel an MMO should be. And I think the way they're going is spot on. And I love your idea, Streak, about the extra experience in a group because that will bring more people together. Some people are afraid. Like, Grievance, we're a large community. We have a big guild. We have a freaking amazing guild. But some people look at large guilds and they get intimidated. Like, oh, I'm just going to be another name. I'm just going to be another number. When that's not even the case. So, But for the people who are intimidated by these guilds, at least they'll have a sense of community when they know right. they can go out and... And work with guilds like us. You know, we would be perfectly fine helping, you know, solo people out in the world. Absolutely. So I think yeah. they're going, definitely going in the right direction. You don't want to cripple the solo crowd out there mm -hmm. and say you can't play solo. So you, you want it, it's definitely solo capabilities for the more casual players and the people that just want to play solo or don't have a lot of time. Right. But you don't want to make it like every other MMO out there today that just makes it so much easier to solo than to bother grouping. And right. it, it, it's, it's sad. And it's sad. I, I don't like that. I, I like the way Wildstar was doing it. They're, they're allowing everybody to, to share in some way or another to get some kind of experience, you know, whether it's in a group or if you're running around solo and you see somebody else in trouble and you and you hit on their mob, help them out, and and that's kind of a recruiting thing. You you help this guy out, you, and he was in trouble. You saw him; he was in big trouble, and you helped him. And he's like, "Thanks a lot," you know. And hey, I see you're not in a guild. Would you like to join mine? And they they're registering on the forum. So, Absolutely. You know, so that's that's a big thing with me, and I and I. You know, I'm a soloist a little bit, but I won't mention the other game that I've been in that is just notorious for it. it seems to be a, a, a soloist, uh, uh, just a huge solo game, and it, it seemed kind of silly because it's an MMO, and and they don't really give you anything for any kind of group effort type of thing other than in game. And but you know, it's just Wildstar is going to 
can allow you to either do something solo, you're running across this field, you see somebody in trouble, you, you, you help them out, you, you get your, you know, coming to you. You can even say, hey, I just helped you, or thanks like you helped me, and then you can group with that guy, mm-hmm. and then you can go finish stuff. So that's uh, awesome. I uh, like how they're doing it. Yeah, attunement quests for one. Attunement quests for, for certain dungeons, certain raids are awesome to have. Um, group quests, like when you're, you're getting ready to leave a specific zone, and it's like, oh, you know what, we'll get four of your friends because you got to kill this big baddie over here, and you don't necessarily have to do that but at least give us the opportunity to be able to pull a group together and have that kind of content while we're leveling up. You know, not mandatory, but that would be something I would like to see as well. Some of the things that, you know, you guys have hit on a lot of good points, and you've actually completely went through the whole Wildstar Wednesday kind of <laughs> in one big general thing. But uh, one thing that I'd like to see is that as, we, as, as it goes forward, you know, the way community is set up and the way, you know, not only our community is set up, but just communities in general with larger guilds and things like that to me it would be a good time where they could start bringing in some you know perks for being a guild you know grouping inside of your guild Uh, you know there's all sorts of things they can do with it and I think we all kind of hit around about you know we like to see some incentive for grouping and I I think I think there's going to be some areas in this game where you're going to have no choice obviously we know about dungeons and things like that that's and obviously raids but 40 men yeah, exactly. Yeah. But when when it comes down when it comes down to it, you know, there's going to be some areas that you're you know you're going to have to go grab your buddy and just go get it done. I mean, and, and I think they know that, and I think they understand that. So uh, I think that was good good conversation that we all just had there. Um, I, I like to go a little bit further with that um, since we are all you know really jazzed up about that conversation. Let's talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. So I am a tank at heart. I have tanked in almost every MMO that I've played that had the Holy Trinity and I think we talked about that last week a little bit. But Yay. let's uh let's go let's go a little bit further with that. Um Wildstar actually goes so far as to say we will not hurt the pure support player. For the first time I think in my MMO career I actually heard a company refer to a player as a support player, and it actually will not penalize them. Usually it's you have to tag the mob, you have to do so much damage, uh, you have to heal a certain amount. No, no more of that. They're saying you play a support class. As a tank, what I want to do is I want to be able to, to totally level up as much as I can as a tank. You know, So I know when it comes to endgame, I do it like a tank. Right. Um, I don't want to have to go DPS and then say, oh, well, I'm going to DPS for X amount of levels and then get to end game and say, okay, now I have to relearn how to do all of this over again. Exactly. And that's kind of, kind of odd. So uh, with that said, and the only reason I'm doing this segue is because I know my friend Naonya there is a healer. So what do you what do you feel? How do you feel about Puddles, this? I want to run behind you while you grab every single mob in front of us, and I want to learn how to heal from level one. I want to level as a healer. I don't want to level as a DPS and switch to healer when I get to max level and then try to feel my way through it all. I love leveling as a healer. Is it difficult? Yes. I can barely solo half the time, but that's where grouping comes in. You find the people that want to group up with you all the time. You run a lot of dungeons. You follow with DPS, with tanks. You just... That's what it's all about. Learning your character. You learn your character from level one. How can I learn how to heal if I'm running as a DPS through my my whole time until I max level and decide, oh, okay, time to switch specs because I have to heal and then have no idea what I'm doing. That's And I don't want to DPS and then heal when I hop into a dungeon. I'm a healer. I want to heal 24-7. And it's hard to do that by myself. So, Puddles, you're just going to have to deal with me. And I, I think that's a, you know that's a that's a good point. I mean, you know, there's got to be some there's got to be something in there, right? You know, there's got to be some kind of love that's thrown in there for the healers and support class. And, and as a tank, and, and I think you know, I, I think as we all played some MMOs, I think we all know that the tank will sit there and hit on a mob for hours at a time until it dies. Exactly. And the the healers the same way. You won't kill it. It'll just take forever to kill. We won't so. Kill it. Yeah, eventually you'll kill it. You know, if you're hitting it with a small rock, you're going to kill it. So, you know, 
Streak, what do you think about this? You, are you are you for the love for the support roles? Oh heck yeah, of course we are. Um, and I I really like the way I really like the way Wildstar is kind of doing this because you're going to have as you level up, you're going to get more and more skills. So you can go out there and set up your abilities and your 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 skills on your hot bar. I think what is it like eight total or something like that. But you can you can pick and choose to say I'm going to be a healer. I'm going to set my thing up to do you know heals and buffs and support and all that stuff for when you're in a group. But at the same time, like I said before, you're you're not killing the solo player. You can and then say okay, I only have a half an hour. I don't have time to look for a group. I just want to walk in, get out of the game, kill a couple baddies, feel like I progressed, and then log off and move on. So you can change your your skills and your abilities and. And, and set yourself up DPS so that you can solo. But I think you're absolutely right. Too many, too many of these games, you solo your way a one through fifty or whatever the max level is because it's the most efficient thing to do. And and then you get to end game and you start doing dungeons and raids and and you have no clue how to really heal or what you know. Right. Just like you know, was saying, which is why I, I think it's very important for them to give some sort of incentive to, to say group group up while you're leveling so that you can have a choice. You can spend half your time in a group as a support class and then other half the time you can still go out there and do DPS and play solo and, and work your way through there. So having that choice and, and not not just a choice but a choice that makes sense. Like I said, there's there has to be some kind of added benefit that says I want to group other than I like to be sociable, so therefore I'm going to group. But there should be something more there that actually makes the solo person out there say, geez, I like solo, but man, I really want that extra 10% experience, so I'm going to go out there and group. And let's face it, back back in the old school MMOs, that is how you met people, is doing these pickups and saying, I want to group with somebody. Uh, I think it's perfect. I love it. I love their their whole direction of this thing. I'm, I'm very excited. To hit on if you can't tell. <laughs> to hit on when you were saying, uh, sticking with one class, uh, I've played a lot of MMOs where, okay, it was the, it was the normal to uh, level up as one whatever you were, and then, oh, i got to switch over. Mm-hmm. And you know, that annoys me, uh, because it is another learning curve. And I'm even though I've done it a million times, and I've put up with it, and I've tolerated it, and I might even learned it and got somewhat good at it, I would still... And just like now, and you hit it right on the head. I would rather just stay one class, one one row in the group, and be done with it. Yep. You know, uh, if I'm a DPS, that that's what I want to do. You know, I, I don't want to have to change. You know, if I decide to become a healer, then that character is going to be a healer. That, that's all there is to it. And I'm just glad that this game is is getting their getting their groove on. You are not. And I group. collect so much stuff. I don't want to carry another set of gear in my bag. Yeah, uh, that's that's me. I'm, <laughs> I'm a huge uh, item hoarder. Uh, my house is going to be completely uh, just a disaster. Uh, and so, yeah, just carry one set of armor. Maybe you know, I don't know what else they're going to bring as far as maybe uh, I don't know what you call them relics or rings or earrings. I don't know what you, I don't know what they're going to have. But just let me have one set of everything so I can do what the group needs. And and to heck with this this quick respect thing I, I can't stand that I don't like oh I gotta have instant respect why do you have to have that just learn one thing and let's do it and that's all there is to it you know we're gonna have the other classes with us we're gonna have puddles as a tank we're gonna have knowing as a healer we're gonna have Sh- streg as whatever he is I'm gonna be there whatever I am we've got everybody we need why do we have to switch yeah, that's that's a good that's a good point, and, and you know this is uh, <laughs> probably one of the things that are near and dear to my heart is you know you know everybody has different play styles, and and you know and I, I think as the game progresses and as we mature as a guild, and you know we get everybody set to what they want to do, you know it would be a perfect time to say, hey, look, you know these are what people are going to do. Let's group up, right? It, it, that's what we do, you know. And one of the things I always love doing is you know if you if it's a group of five people. Group up with four people, leave a spot open. Somebody needs help, drag them in there. You never know; you might get a friend for life. It's just, right. it's, sure. it's, it's, sure. it, that's what makes this game, and that's what I think is going to really make this game so 
so good for gaming communities is because they're saying, look, the group stuff's not exactly where it needs to be, so we're not going to gimp you in the end. We're going to go ahead and fix it and make you guys be as good as you can be from the go. And I think that's that's pretty important. So You hit on, you hit on something right there, Puddles. They, they, they obviously, or somebody was obviously thinking about community. They were thinking about guilds when they changed this. Because, like I said, you can run by, you can see somebody in trouble, you're getting what you want out of the kill, and that guy's going to say, and if he doesn't, there's something wrong with him, but more than likely, he's going to look at you and say, thank you. Thank you for saving my tail. Yep. And then you've made a friend. You might have made a future guildy. So, I'm all for it. Yep. I'm excited. I can't sit it, still. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> it's definitely when you get... You get yeah, you get people like us on here, you know, and of course, you know, this is near and dear to our hearts because, you know, not only do we do our podcasts and things and as XOs and, you know, other people who are interested... When we see stuff like this, this is this is bread and butter for us, man. This is this is gold. I mean, how often are you going to go through your, or how many times have you in your MMO career gone through, see somebody who's getting ready to die or whatever, you go save them. They're like, oh, gee, thanks, you know, because, you know, it doesn't happen enough. Right. And, you know, we always mm-hmm. always say, you know, you wear that guild, that guild tag, you know, that's that's not just representing yourself that's representing the whole guild and i think that's going to really as it, it's it's recruiting gold is what it's going to be and i really think that they they really hit that one right i think that i think we're all in agreement with that so um we're basically towards the end of their beta um their beta roundup here but i did want to talk about something that i read maybe 20 more times than i read everything else so they they thanked everybody for being in the closed betas and they said you know what we'll be starting up back you know later this year and as soon as people read that it didn't matter what it said before it they saw that and they were just like oh it's it it's over you know Me. yeah you know so let let let's just talk about that a little bit you know we know that they are they have some things they're going to do as as a company right they're going to go to PAX uh, they're going to go to, I think it's Gamescom. Um, so you know, those are, I think, back to back weekends. So I, you know, that's you know, that's a little bit of a trek for for them to go out there. And we all know that their big announcement was that um, at PAX they were going to have an open uh, open little forum there, and they're going to live stream it for an hour. Um, but the one thing that we have to remember is, you know, later this year we're it's August. It's, we're, we're almost at the end of the year anyway. And, and you think about it, you know, with holidays and things that are coming up, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Plus, they just outlined that they have, you know, a whole ton of stuff that they're probably going to go do. So, you know, I, I, I'm i really sad to hear that, you know, a lot of people were like, well, this is it. Now, gr- let's let's be honest. It does mean that they probably have pushed their release date maybe a couple times. But... As you, as we all said, we're we're pretty okay with that. I mean, yes, sad, bittersweet, yes, but fetal position, you, yes, fetal position, <laughs> crying, crying, whatever we need to do, rocking. Um, but there's also a good part of that, right? They have gave you solid information, basically saying, "Hey, look, this is what we're going to do." They also took the opportunity to say, "You know, we're going to take a break because we have some in-house stuff we have to take care of." So. That means CBT4 is going to be delayed until later this year. I'm not sad with that. I mean, you know, maybe they, you know, one thing that we haven't talked about yet is maybe they can crush, uh, crush, excuse me, maybe they can put a little bit more into CBT4 that they wouldn't have been able to do before. Um, and Streak, you and I talked about this a little bit more. What do you, what do you think about that? I totally agree. I totally agree. Like I said, you, you gotta, you gotta really look into it a little bit deeper because they 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 give out this note this wildstar wednesday email which i wish they would have done on a, in a video because i hate to read but you know that's a different story but you know you go through there and, and you read the changes they're making and they're saying okay you know everything's on hold we'll update you in a couple months and everybody gets this fear in them that oh god it's going to be months behind now we're going to go out into way out into 2014 but you know like i said they don't have every dev sitting at carbine work 
working on these changes. They have a group that will be working on the changes while everybody else is going through everything they got back from their beta testers, optimizing things and changing things and tweaking things. I mean, they've got a whole bunch of other stuff that they can be working on. So even though it may be eat everything on hold for two or three months there's there's so many other things they're going to be doing that it, it may it may not put them two three months behind it may only put them one month behind you we don't know um, and I'm sure a lot's going to depend on once they do the changes and put it out to testing how close to the the bullseye they hit it and how much tweaking they have to do afterwards so we don't really know that um, but I'm not I'm not discouraged at all I, I I don't think it's as bad as, as everybody thinks. And, and I agree with you. They may be able to take what they had scheduled for closed beta 4 and 5 and put them together by the time they start things back up and, and skip a, a, a section that they had. <clears throat> they definitely have time now to work on it. Puddles, yeah, so. there was a question coming in from Twitch about what we thought about when they restate beta, how do you think that the friends and family thing is going to be pretty busy with the beta? Um Hmm. Not exactly sure exactly what they were asking there, but I don't even know how many people were in beta to begin with. Do you? No, I, I don't think I don't think we know. I mean, I, you know, we always hear their numbers about beta tests and things that got sent out, mm -hmm. uh, but I, you know they kind of keep those numbers kind of close to themselves. So mm -hmm. you, you never know. I mean, yes, even though CBT is going to be stopped for a while, you're right. It doesn't mean that other people aren't testing this. And, I, and I'm totally in agreement with that. They're probably, you know, they may have a pocket of a couple thousand people who are still testing it in-house and friends and family, coworkers, lovers, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> yes, Monkeys. I'm sure. Yeah, that's right. They're, they're in there. They're testing it. I mean, they're not going to, you know, don't sleep on the game. That that is the one thing I'm going to say about 50 times. Don't sleep on this game. Don't be the person who who immediately says, I'm writing this off to two, late 2014. Uh, Jeez, it's 2013, people. Uh, you know, late 2014, winter 2014, maybe 2015. What? No, don't, yeah, don't, 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 don't do Hello? that. Don't do that. Yeah, I know. No, I know. no, don't no, 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 no. Yeah, but don't do that. I mean, they're. I mean, it's it's crazy, and you know. And I love social media, and I and I love seeing uh, some of the people, uh, some of the friends that uh, I have on social media show up for some of our podcasts. I, I like to see them in the room, and um, it, it, one of the things that we love to see is just some irrational gamer who comes in and goes, "That's it, it's over, 2019, <laughs> it's coming out," and you're negative, just like, Nancy's. Where where are you coming from? Do, do I even know you? Yeah. So anyway, it's yeah, it's interesting. We don't know. I mean, um, you know, great question for the uh, uh, for the guys at PAX. If uh, if you're going to if you're going to PAX, that's that's your that's your uh, that's your job right there. You got to ask them that question. How many people do you have in your back pocket doing testing? Remember that and put my put my name. That's Puddles. With a C. <laughs> All right. Puddles, so uh, Puddles, you so, stole exactly what I was thinking. Uh, you, you can't forget about what they're doing. You can forget about all the letters you, you read and all the emails that are going around. Just don't forget that there is people working on this all the time. Uh, there's people testing the game. Uh, they'll tell I'd be you glad to test it. Yeah, they'll, they'll tell you that it's stopped, but uh, yeah. I'd be willing to bet you that it's not being stopped completely. There's people in there. They're, they're always adding stuff in there. Uh, they're they're probably taking a little stuff out. Okay, test this. If there's only fifty people in there, there's somebody in there testing. So don't write it off. It's going to take a little time. The wait will be worth it. Yeah, that's I just, I totally I totally agree with that. Just because they're working on these new things and maybe stopping beta to to fix and tweak some things does not mean that they can skimp on telling us what those last classes are. That's right. There, <laughs> That's there true. should, and I'm hoping they still have Wildstar Wednesday because I'm sure there's more information they can give us. I remember oh, hearing a, a couple months ago that that Carbine had all these cinematic videos that they were going to be releasing over the course of the next few months and I want to see some of those videos <laughs> I want to see the classes and I want to know about the what they think their um, their what do they call it like the payment thing like oh, the payment model, model. Yes. yes things yes. like that they could still be letting us know hint hint wink wink like there you go you know 
We don't need to I know mean, about all the mechanics, but we can know about the little bells and whistles. How many companion anybody... pets can I collect? How many mounts will be in the game? <laughs> How oh, many geez. plushies do I need to have to fill up my bed? Stuff Here like we that. go. <laughs> if anybody saw last week's uh, version of this podcast, um, you will find out that if you go a week or two without feeding Neonia the bunny some information, she gets very <laughs> ornery. So you don't want to tick off the no. orange here. So no. keep keep the information coming. I won't punt any chewas if you at least let me know. Some stuff. <laughs> I will be good. Creed, I will be very nice to you. Or watch the chewas. It's going to be like Brad Pitt movie all over again. World War Chua. It's, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Did you see the movie? Everything was just climbing all over the place. That's what's going to happen. Look out! That is a scary thing, especially if they're all pink. <laughs> Don't feed them after midnight. Don't get them wet. <laughs> so you know this. You know this is a. You know I, I really like this conversation. So uh, I, I'll go a little bit further with this. So you know, yeah, we, we're all talking about the same thing, and I'll I'll go I'll go so bold as to say. Even though they're stopping their testing for a while until they get their stuff fixed, I still think we'll be fed information, right? Obviously, they have some places they're going to go. They're going to go out to the community, let the community go, <clears throat> mob them for a little bit because you know that's what's going to happen because, you know, impatient gamers make moody gamers. So, you, you know, so they got some stuff that they're going to do. But, yeah, I, I really I, – I, I look forward to next Wednesday. Because it, it's for a company, it's never easy to say that your product isn't up to your standards, knowing that in theory that same thing means it may not be up to the consumer standards. So it'll be interesting to see what they say next Wednesday. It could be, you know, it could be as simple as, "Hey, look, you know, we're not really releasing a lot of information because we're getting ready for PAX or Gamescom, or whichever comes first. And I'm totally acceptable with that. But at the end, you know that they know that now, now that this has happened. You know, there's they they got a little something they got to give us. You know, I, I'm wondering if maybe in the next couple of weeks, maybe we get a little information on the payment model. Would be nice. Maybe, you know, maybe. I think, I think Nyonya is a is a psychic. Uh, again, she hits something on the head. The little tidbits of information that need to come out. And now it's important, just like you said, puddles. Now is the time. It's very important. They, they're, they're saying they're, they're stopping what they're doing and they're taking a break and they're going to make these massive changes. Now is the time to, to give us little tidbits of information of, of the little stuff that people want to know. How many companions will we have? Maybe show us one of those companions. Just show, show us a little, a little, you know, just a little flirt. And if there's no companion or, pets, I would suggest you start designing some. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, just, just show us the little things. The, the little itty b grievance can turn itty bitty little pieces of information into huge, huge information. We, we we're good at that. We we're, we're doing it right now. Mm-hmm. We took page information and we made this thing forty five minutes already. So <laughs> just give us something little every Wednesday. That will be awesome. Keep in mind, it wasn't that long ago they said they had a list of some 200 things that they wanted to key on. They had only hit like 20 or 30, and we know we haven't gotten much information in the last couple of weeks since then. So they're still sitting on a, a buttload uh, of on information of that doesn't have to do a lot with these changes. So I'm sure there's more than enough information for them to, to keep feeding us and dangling that little carrot and saying, we want more. Oh, look, carrot, bunny, yeah, you're perfect. Yes, Don't perfect. Worry. I like that segment. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, yeah, it's it, it's pretty interesting, and I think at the end of the day, as rabid WildStar fans, we want a polished game, right? Rabid, we can all- rabbits, rodents. Really, I'm I'm doing that for you. I really? just want you to know. <laughs> but you you know, at the end of the day, right? It, it's it's. It's what's what's best for everybody, you know, and and I I really I really appreciate that. And while we're giving appreciation, I would like to take the opportunity to to thank the people who've been out there in our um, in our Twitch channel. Uh, I've been watching the chat, so if you see my eyes going back and forth, it's because I'm reading some of the stuff, and it's a lot of good conversation out there. And uh, I, I really look forward to talking to most of these people again. Uh, it's a lot of the stuff that they're saying is is pretty legitimate. So um, I'm glad that we could all come together and talk about this. Um, 
like I said, I'm surprised it went as long as it did. Uh, 45 minutes, that's, that's pretty good. That's what um, happens when you're waiting for a game that you can't wait to play. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely awesome. Um, They've got me. So, you know, I, I will end this on something that I was just thinking about, and I think Creed was my... Uh, <laughs> He was my inspiration. You know, if we if we get to the point where, you know, we uh, we decided that uh, maybe we were to get into beta in Christmas time, right? How awesome would it be if I could get two Chewas to pull my sleigh? What? And I could be <laughs> I could be Santa Claus. Nice. <laughs> I just better have my Christmas tree with them, like under little, my Christmas tree. Instead That's of Christmas bulbs, about. I'll have little dead chewas around chewas. there. I'll do it just for the screenshot. <laughs> just the the screenshot will go viral. It's Christmas. We've got to spread the love at Christmas. There no you, if, chewas if, hanging from Christmas trees. If we get in, I just want you to know: if we get in, and it's Christmas time, we we are going to go viral with a video. Yes. If I have to line six or seven of them up and have me and just sitting there doing some kind of motion, it will be hilarious. Open dressed data. all, yeah, just dressed all in in red. Oh, it'd be perfect. You don't even want to know what I was thinking about for uh, Valentine's Day, but that's for a different podcast. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not oh, getting on man. the bar puddles. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Well, uh, I'd like to thank everybody again for watching, and uh, again. Uh, is always an amazing time with Creed, Streak, and Naonia. Um, that's it, uh, Naonia. I think uh, that's all we had for tonight, wasn't it? It was. All right. Well, I want to thank again everybody for showing up, and I want to thank everybody out there with that wonderful chat that you guys have going on. And uh, I look forward to reading that about thirty times to see how many times people laughed at me. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a good night. Uh, this is uh, your Ciao. debuff news crew. You guys have a good the wild week. star. See you on Sunday. See ya.